As a, um, as a policymaker, as a councilwoman uh, in uh, Louisville uh, on the council, um, what, kind of, what kind of new commitment uh, will it take, should it take, in, in order to, uh, to do the job that needs to be done? Well, you know, Terry talked about what can happen at the state level, and locally we can pass ordinances as it relates to wage theft. Yes, we do have immigrants in our city who are having their paychecks stolen, who are not getting paid by their employers, or tipped workers who are not getting their tips. So wage theft is real, and it contributes to the issue of poverty. So on the Metro Council, we can pay, you know, pass a, a wage theft ordinance that could be a model for the state. Is it going to take um, an additional amount of new money. Uh, Eric, should it be, uh, is there a, a public-private partnership? Is it part government? Is it subsidized by the government? We've had this uh, presidential uh, debate of, about uh, what the government should be doing. Is it going to take more? Uh, is it less? How do, how do you look at it all and sort of process what should be done? I think one constraint is that federal and state and local money is pretty tight right now. So yeah. I don't think we can expect more spending. And I don't think more spending is the answer. Again, spending is important, but I think everything the panelists have said, everything we've seen in these segments, it's not about spending more money per se. It's about spending it more wisely, mm -hmm. uh, the things we have. And I, I think the earned income tax credit makes uh, a ton of sense. And, and those on the right want people to work. Well, it's subsidized work. People on the left, I can't imagine they'd want to tax the poor, but we have FICA and we have payroll taxes that pound the poor. We have Kentucky with state income taxes that hit the poor. You would think that, you know, you could think that both Republicans and Democrats could find some common ground at the state level to just be smarter with the money that we're spending. And I, I would think, too, that we've, um, if we didn't know, we've already uh, learned uh, about sort of the new face of poverty, uh, about uh, it's not just somebody that uh, is uh, waiting for their handout. The, these are the working poor. We've heard that expression. So, Terry, uh, what would you think would be one initial step, other than the ones we've talked about, the EITC, uh, that would be beneficial and helpful on a statewide basis? Well, as I said, Bill, and I agree with Eric, unfortunately, uh, I have lots of ideas for more investment for families, but let's just get real. There's not more money on the table. Yeah. So, again, uh, without being redundant, uh, I think there are solutions on the table that don't cost a nickel. Uh, let's, let's tackle pre the predatory environment in this state. Uh, let's be thoughtful about how we can support low-income families uh, in gaining benefits. The other thing that we have talked about, and I think Renee, several of Renee's interviews really did an excellent job, is let's talk about the predicates for poverty. Uh, in our Kids Count uh, book that, that just came out, one of the things we, that we saw is a stark increase in the number of moms giving birth who don't have a high school diploma. Mm -hmm. Well, intergenerational poverty in many ways is defined by those kind of hard roads up. So we, we've got to uh, begin to, to mesh education and health uh, policies with economic policies. For too long in Kentucky, we've allowed K-12 to sit over here, uh, child welfare over here, economic development over here. And we, we've got to invent ways to integrate sectors. We've got to integrate ways to bring business and local government and state government together. But again, I am really hopeful because I believe that equation of letting low income families keep more resources they have uh, is a winning message that Democrats and Republicans should politically be able to buy. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned um, an issue that I find to be a challenge in local government is communication and leadership. We have so many groups and organizations that aren't even talking to one another. So how can we find solutions to these real life problems when we're not even talking to one another? We're spinning our wheels or duplicating efforts or stepping on people's toes. It's gonna take a different kind of yeah. leadership to really address the issue of poverty in Kentucky. Yeah. 